Okay, so today I'm tying the lava lamp. Basically, it's a reverse marabou tube um, using Pro Sport Fisher uh, tubing and weights. I like to cut the packages at the top right there, so then if you are hanging them up back at home on a peg or something, uh, you still have that loop in the package to uh, hang them by. So go ahead and throw that tube on backwards with the smaller diameter size facing the vise. Put your weight on, make some thread wraps, and get some flash boo out. Today I'm using just a, a pearl pink tinsel, kind of doing a shrimp, shrimpy type color, I guess, if you'd say. Um, so just, yeah, latch that on, get a couple strands on each side. That is in the wrong package. It says guinea, but clearly it is marabou. That's just a fluorescent shrimp color. Tie it in by the tip. Wrap it forward as you kind of stroke those fibers back just to get them out of the way. Tie it off. Trim the stem and then kind of pick it out with the bodkin. Or you could use like a, a dubbing brush just to kind of straighten all the, uh, all the fibers out. Then we got the guinea, large dot, natural. I actually started using two, uh, two guinea feathers just stacked on top of each other. I really want a, a stiff um, layer in between the marabou. That's what's going to help it really prop it up and not allow those, uh, those fibers to, to bend backwards in the current. So it gives it a really big profile with just an, an extra feather in there. Then laying down kind of like a bubble gum or light pink marabou feather, same thing, stroking back the fibers, wrapping it forward. Trim the stem, get out some rhea or ostrich. This is just kind of a barred orange and white, four or five strands. Put it on the side of the, uh, the fly and just uh, latch it in there, four or five turns. Same thing goes for the other side, four or five strands. Tied in. Uh, here's the star of this fly, turkey flank. So it's real webby. It's about twice as long as uh, schloppen. It's really webby. It's stiff. Uh, comes in a bunch of different colors. And this just grabs all that material and holds it just basically straight up and down. Since it is so webby, that marabou, when you do put it in the river or your swim tank or something like kind of like weaves its way through those web uh, the webby fibers or materials it looks really cool and then EP brushes if you've been coming into the shop or seen any of the flies that have been tying this is basically uh, replaced all dubbing loops and composite loops it comes in a ton of colors it's um, you know they're manufactured on a wire so you can just reef on them to get them really tight they're super durable. If you nick them with uh, your scissors or you pull too down on uh, too hard on thread, even like GSP, it just will not cut through that EP brush. Tons of materials in there. Good flash. It's so easy. I mean, just tie it in, wrap it forward, and you're done. That's basically the fly. It's pretty straightforward. Um, get a little Pro Fisher UV resin. Big fan of that stuff too. Just a tiny little bit on the bodkin, put it around your thread, hit it with the light. These are a great high water fly. I mean, they'll work in a, in a variety of situations, but they create such a big profile. And you can have them unweighted or, or really lightly weighted, so they're kind of neutrally buoyant. And they just undulate and move and um, swim. Excellent. It's just a sweet little bug. Kind of looks like an umbrella. take it off slide it on normal um, cut a little bit of that front tube off and then slide it back on your tube adapter peel back all those fibers and just uh, melt that tip so it kind of rolls back on itself be careful not to get too close to the uh, feathers I've definitely lit my fair share of flies on and there she is in all her glory lava lamp version 2.0 anybody that ties bugs you know their your flies just keep evolving and hopefully getting better and changing. So good movement, super easy to cast, not too hard to tie, good color contrast. Yep, there she is.